Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the quick reply or the buttons uh, how we can enable in AWS Connect chat interface, right? Uh, before moving on, uh, this video is uh, not for only me, for other creators also, right? Uh, videos are free for your consumptions, but uh, your subscription or just subscribe to any of the channel does help. For my side, uh, you can see that out of 50,000 views, uh, only 10% are subscribed to my channel, rate of, rest of them are not subscribed. So do subscribe to the any of the channel that you are watching. So jumping on to the actual content, why we are over here, what we are here is trying to create this, right? So what we will do quickly, we will go to over here. Uh, so this is quick reply uh, template. Uh, usually we call it buttons, right? Uh, to any of the messages, right? So what we will do is simply uh, from the previous video, we have something called main menu, right? Uh, okay, so this is the main menu where uh, once user say something like help, start over or something like that, we are going to Lambda. So this is the Lambda what we have. Now what I will do is just copy, uh, what is that uh, button, JSON equal to and i just copy this one right so control c oops and paste over here now what we will do is do a little bit formatting so first of all this mandatory and all this thing we have to remove so over here you can see two to five items so what it means is we can have minimum two and maximum of five buttons supported Oops. So this formatting is done. Okay. Uh, and now what I will do is uh, for intent main menu. Okay. So this is again a custom, uh, what do you say, code that I have written. Not tested fully in production, but so far it has been working as per my knowledge and there is no modification that you have to do uh, and uh, this is all intent bits so we have removed from the slot and all the confusions and the code was there right uh, which was causing confusion so I have just created a simple uh, one JavaScript which is containing the JSON file and that is giving you the response as a intent base not the slot base okay if you see over here it's intent base Okay, so what we will do is once this uh, thing is triggered, we will say, we will return this, right? And now since uh, this is an intent base, right? What we have to do is create intents, right? So over here, what we will do is we will create intent called billing, okay? And add simple phrase billing and save, oops. Another one is cancellation. Do we have cancellation? Cancel, 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 no. Uh, create intent, cancellation, add, cancellation, click over here, save. And the last one is new service, right? And what we will do is click over here, new service, paste is not allowed, click add and new service okay so we have now three intents new service uh, billing and cancellation right so that i will do as a build meanwhile it get built so what we will do is we will change over here okay uh, we will come over here and point to our bot what is the bot name main menu intents so main menu intents okay and the the intents that we will be getting out of that is first new service okay second one we will be getting cancellation right so we will cancellation and we have another one which will be coming out from his new service cancellation and i think billing was there right yeah billing uh so we will add over here click save okay 
now just to be make sure that this is coming out right uh, what i will do is i will just add a prompt over here and play prompt so you say you have selected billing okay and then we will just disconnect the call over here and over here okay so for cancellation it will be cancellation right uh, cancellation copy oops intent click save and the last part is new service that i can write new service click save click save and then publish okay so what we did we modified the lex we added the three intents right main menu goes to or the help menu goes to the custom ui in the custom ui then the main menu is the intent we are calling this billing uh, we are passing this button json and uh, yeah that's it okay let's see if it is working so what i will do is i will go to my html and run start my server and which one it is pointing to is pointing to test so let's open it localhost slash test right okay we have the bot over here now once it load okay so now we will say help over here and we should get this one right we got it now let's select any of the service let's say cancellation okay and you have selected the uh, cancellation intent which was uh, the cancellation intent and this is the one which we are coming out right so yeah this is how we can enable uh, interactive message uh, called what is that quick reply or the buttons in your aws connect chat flow thank you have a nice day